everyone and welcome to Boston Autoblog. It's not too often on this channel where we take a look at the behemoths and titans of the automotive world. And what I'm talking about is full-size SUVs. Now, I have to say, I'm feeling a little insecure about my height today, sitting next to the Shaquille O'Neal of the automotive industry. And on camera, I probably look like Nate Robinson. But for 2021, Cadillac has made the Escalade bigger and better than ever before, while also giving it some great technology features that I like to argue we haven't necessarily seen in this segment before. Now, we have seen similar technology, but I think for 2021, Cadillac has really gone in the direction of ingenuity. And I have to say, this is definitely going to be an SUV that is most certainly going to surprise. The Cadillac Escalade is supposed to be the best of the best coming out of Detroit, offering the pinnacle of American luxury and technology. And I think when it comes to the luxury side of things, it's most certainly done that over the last 20 years, where the Escalade is one of very few American-made vehicles that has some street credibility, where we have pro athletes and movie stars buying this vehicle over Land Rovers, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW. And for 2021, Cadillac is taking things one step further. The technology on the inside, which I'm gonna completely rave about throughout this review, is what we should expect to see from the rest of the lineup throughout this decade. And if this is any indication of what we can expect to see by 2025 or 2030, I think Cadillac is going to make a significant comeback here in the United States. So in this video, we're gonna take a good long look at the 2021 Cadillac Escalade Premium Luxury and see why for this new decade, owning a Cadillac is once again a status symbol. Now, before I get into this review, I'll let a Colonial Cadillac in Woburn, Massachusetts for allowing me to this review. The link will be in the description below so you can check out their extensive Cadillac inventory. And so, without wasting any further time, let's get right in this review. With every new vehicle, you always hear how much it's improved from last generation, that it's better than ever, and offers the very best when it comes to technology and safety features. This is often true, but blown a bit out of proportion. Whereas for Cadillac, they have a lot to be proud and excited about with the new Escalade. GM products are often subjected to criticism due to their insistency on sharing parts throughout their family of brands. And for the Escalade, it's always been seen as a nicer Chevy Tahoe and GMC Yukon. But for 2021, this full-size SUV has taken some giant leaps to differentiating itself from its more affordable cousins and becoming a true flagship, not only for Cadillac, but also General Motors. Starting off with pricing, the Cadillac Escalade Premium Luxury comes in at $87,290. But our model for this review has additional packages to bring the total to around 100,000. Obviously, dimensional changes are going to be what you notice first, as the Escalade has become a behemoth of a vehicle. Compared to last year, the wheelbase has been stretched by 4.9 inches, and overall is 7.1 inches longer than the 2020 model, three inches higher, and surprisingly, doesn't grow in terms of width. For 2021, a new suspension will not only affect how the Escalade drives and handles, but also provides improved legroom, which we'll check out later. With air ride suspension, this SUV is capable to handle whatever you throw at it, whether you go off-road, which is highly unlikely, or taking on deep snow. When it comes to the road presence, pretty much all of your attention will be on the front fascia, which now resembles an American freight train that's ready to run anyone off the road. 
A new mesh grille design that's now found on most new Cadillacs transforms the Escalade into a very classy and upscale vehicle that moves away from the outdated chrome crossbars found on last generation. In perfect lighting, the chrome accents glisten like chainmail to really set this SUV apart from all its competition. Also new to bring a luxurious feel are the new LED lights that provide a mini light show when approaching the Escalade, with the daytime running lights pulsating to let you know it's unlocked. The same applies to the taillights as well, and these minor touches is a very encouraging sight to see, as Cadillac has become serious about being futuristic and offering vehicles with 21st century features. Moving over to the side profile, the premium luxury is sitting on 22-inch, 14-spoke alloy wheels, with no available options to downsize. For those who are height-challenged like myself, a retractable running board will give you a convenient platform to stand on to step inside the Escalade. You'll get body color folding side mirrors with turn signal indicators to go along with blind spot detection for added safety. Then coming around to the back, this is where very minor improvements have been made to modernize this SUV as the taillight design has been refreshed very slightly. For the most part, this is still Cadillac's signature rear fascia for the Escalade with a similar chrome strip running horizontally beneath the rear glass. The biggest difference is the rear diffuser and chrome exhaust outlets, which gives this SUV a more aggressive appearance. But it's from this angle where you do see body lines and aesthetics that closely resemble the Chevy Tahoe and GMC Yukon. For 2021, the Cadillac Escalade is powered by a 6.2 liter V8 engine, putting out 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque, and is paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Optional, a 3-liter Duramax turbo diesel engine will provide better fuel efficiency. And speaking of fuel economy, with a 6.2, you can expect to see right around 15 miles per gallon in the city and 20 miles per gallon on the highway. For the drivetrain, our model has the optional four-wheel drive system to better suit the winters we have up in the northeast but rear-wheel drive does come standard. Inside, you're given power-adjustable heated and ventilated leather seats for both the driver and passenger, with the driver's side being two-position memory for added convenience. But the number one reason why we're here is to check out Cadillac's new 38-inch curved screen. Unlike most digital gauge clusters that can be customized by using the buttons mounted on the steering wheel, You'll have a small touchscreen on the far left that will display the odometer and fuel consumption. But as you work your way down the list, you can go with traditional gauges, a full navigation map display, or our personal favorite, the augmented reality with turn-by-turn -turn navigation, bringing 21st century technology to Cadillac's most luxurious vehicle. When programming in a destination, arrows and graphics will point you in the right direction making a longer drive much more engaging. Since this review was filmed during the day, we couldn't check out the night vision feature, which will make driving at night on dimly lit roads much safer. On our model, we did have a head-up display, and just like with the gauge cluster, that too can be adjusted via the touchscreen on the left. Moving over to the infotainment system, you'll have a dual function screen, where this user interface can be used as a touchscreen or you'll have a Roy dial, touchpad, and quick access buttons to efficiently get you to different menus. Not noticeable to the driver or front passenger is that with this screen being curved, it reflects both light and the driver's face, which is very apparent from this angle. In terms of technology, you'll have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Amazon Alexa to go along with onboard navigation. And the model for this review also has the 36 speaker AKG 3D sound system, which makes your favorite music sound amazing, especially with speakers mounted in the headrests. Believe it or not, this infotainment system is actually what you experience in most GM products, but it's been facelifted to fit this 38 inch screen. Even better for a vehicle of this size, you'll have a variety of different camera angles to choose from, including a 360 degree 3D view, which we see a lot with European luxury brands, a side view for the front tires, and an overhead view with trajectory, and of course, the rear backup camera, 
with trajectory, making it virtually impossible to get yourself into trouble when parking this SUV. Adding additional safety, the rearview mirror is also digital, providing a much clearer view of what's behind you. Below, you'll find the buttons for the dual zone climate control, AC, and front and rear defrosters, while the buttons for the three level heated and ventilated seats are placed on the doors to help eliminate button clutter. For the center console itself, a USB-C and USB input make connecting new and old phones to the Escalade very easy. And you'll have a wireless phone charger to keep your iPhone in place while driving. For the center storage compartment, you'll find more than enough room for small items. And in fact, if you remove the tray, you can fit a DSLR camera and more if you ran out of space in the back. And rounding out the front seating area, above will be a panoramic sunroof, which let in a lot of natural light for all occupants inside. And then for the second row, you will have captain's chairs, at least on this particular model. And what you're going to notice immediately is that you have plenty of leg room, but also a lot of shoulder room as well. And I'm sitting behind myself at around 5'5", five five, and I have plenty of room to work with here. There's also a lot of space to get access to the third row seats, which is perfect if you have a family. And I just think that the Cadillac Escalade is very family friendly for sure. Now, also we do have a screen in front of us, it's part of a package, and what this allows you to do is that you can use this for navigation where you can uh, tell the driver uh, where you wanna go and they can accept that destination if they want to. But also more importantly, is that we have two HDMI cables here and a two-pronged outlet. So you could essentially plug in a PS4 or an Xbox One and you could have kids back here playing games and they're not gonna be uh, bothering you while you're driving, so that's pretty cool to see. Also, of course, you can watch movies and such. So I just think that from a family aspect, this vehicle is pretty great. Also, we have three level heated outboard seats, obviously, because they're captain's chairs. We also have climate control back here. So passengers in the second row are gonna be cool or warm, depending on the time of year. Now also you will have two USB-C inputs, which is perfect if you have new iPhones, such as iPhone 12. And since we do not have a center arm, or we don't have a center armrest with two cup holders, we will have the two cup holders in the center console. And by pressing on the button, they slide right out. So that's pretty cool to see. But since most of you are not going to be around the height of 5'5", let's check out the other uh, seat on the passenger side to see if you can fit someone or maybe 5'8", 5'9", possibly 5'10". Now, this seat is adjusted further back. It's also on a recline. And I still have a few inches of room to work with here. This seat is probably adjusted to someone maybe around maybe six foot tall and above. And the fact that me at 5'5", five five, I still have room to work with here, is pretty great to see. So I think when it comes to interior quality, interior space, whether you're tall, short, or in between, you're all gonna be very comfortable. And then for the third row, there's really not much to talk about outside of the USB-C inputs and of course the cup holders on either side of the third row area. But more importantly though, is that I actually have a few inches of room to leg, of leg room to work with behind the second row seats. And usually when it comes to three row SUVs, the third row is often very tight. I could sit back here on a longer drive for sure. It's not ideal and I'd rather be sitting in the captain's chairs, but I do think that if you had kids back here, they're gonna be very comfortable. So again, this vehicle is definitely uh, suitable for a family. And I can totally see why the Escalade for 2021 is going to be very popular. Now coming around to the back, of course you are going to get a power lift gate, but I wanna show you this really cool feature first. So the glass opens up separately if you want it to and you can fit longer items. But as a car viewer, and as somebody who would really love to do this moving forward, I would love to use the Cadillac Escalade as a vehicle to film cars while they're driving, get some nice rolling shots. It'd be a great vehicle where if you're doing a full review, maybe for like a TV show or whatever, you could just set up your cameraman in the back. He's not gonna be able to fall out at all because the tailgate is closed. I think it'd be really cool, it's a cool setup, but that's just my take. So you can use this uh, for personal use, of course, with longer items, but that was just one feature I really wanted to show you guys. And then, Let's open the tailgate. And inside, behind the third row of seats, you're going to find right around 25 cubic feet of rear cargo space, which is incredible. That's a 70% increase from last generation. 
Now, uh, you can fit tons of, tons of items back here for sure. So even if you have, you know, kids in the third row, you can still fit luggage, you can still fit, uh, you know, groceries and whatnot. So it's definitely a very practical SUV. And then of course, with it being 2020, you don't need to manually lower the third row seats. Just press the button on the right side of the rear cargo area and they'll fold automatically. Of course, you can also fold them back upright. So it's very easy to use, very efficient. And you can do the exact same with the second row seats, which we're gonna show you right now. Now for these second row seats, there is a two-step process to lowering these captain's chairs. As you can tell, there's two levers. One is to move the seat forward and backwards. And the second one is to lower the backside. And quickly and conveniently, all within about maybe five seconds, you now have a lot more cargo space to work with. And then for the cargo space measurements with both the second and third row seats folded, you're gonna get right around 109 cubic feet of room. You could essentially fit an entire living room's worth of furniture. And if you are going on vacation, you can fit plenty of luggage. With the third row seats folded, you're gonna get right around 63 cubic feet. So even if you have just two passengers in the back and you're going on a family vacation, you're gonna have plenty of room for groceries, items, and even camping gear if you are gonna go camping with this vehicle. But overall, the Calic Escalade is suitable for both uh, families, also if you're using this as a limo or you're just gonna be using this as a moving vehicle where you are gonna be uh, moving furniture. But just overall, I think whether you're a passenger, driver, or you are using this for its cargo space, the Cadillac Escalade is most certainly a very practical three-row SUV. And then once you're done, just press the button and the lift gate will close automatically. All right, so let's take the all new 2021 Cadillac Escalade out for a drive. This thing is a Titan, it's a beast. And I'm looking forward to checking this vehicle out. The thing I do like though, I've been maneuvering it around at the, at the dealership, it's pretty tight here. And because you have all the safety systems, you have the camera stuff, it makes moving this vehicle around very easy. But also you do have uh, the parking assist feature. So there's a lot to be excited about for this uh, crossover, actually I should say full size SUV. And I am really looking forward to this test drive, not because of the driving experience, but rather the technology that you have here. Now, this is the first time on this channel where I feel as though I completely own the road. Uh, there's a Tahoe on the, on the other side, and I, I'm actually on eye level with them, maybe a little higher up. This is like an American freight train. When you look at it from the front, the way it's shaped, uh, it, it looks like an unstoppable vehicle. Uh, I cannot wait to see these on the road because I can only see this from the driver's point of view. I wanna see how this looks on the road as another driver. So when it comes to front vision, I have plenty of it. And the thing is with a huge SUV like this, to some degree it's a bit apprehensive just because I'm used to driving a compact car. But actually it's very easy to drive, very maneuverable, which I was just not expecting. But it handles the bumps pretty well, it's pretty soft, uh, and it's exactly what I would expect from a $100,000 vehicle. But the thing that, that I probably would never get used to is the fact that I'm dwarfing other vehicles on the road. I mean, there's compact crossovers like a Toyota RAV4, and I feel as though I'm in like a semi truck. Uh, they just look, everything looks so tiny from up here. Wow, <laughs> the V8 sounds so good. Uh, I shouldn't be having this much fun in a three row SUV, but I most certainly am. The weird thing is about the Escalade, at least for 2021, is that it has this interesting feeling of being like you're in a pickup truck because it has the V8, but it has the driving and handling dynamics of any crossover you're gonna experience. And I like that mixture because I get that nice sound uh, from the uh, exhaust, but I also have a more of a, of a familiar driving experience and driving dynamics. The, to me though, uh, just the way this whole interior is set up, because we can talk about how this 38 inch uh, curved screen is, is mesmerizing and it looks amazing, but when you're driving, it actually isn't in your line of sight. So just like we see with Mercedes-Benz products, it's closer towards the dashboard and I like that. Because we see a lot of brands right now where they stick the infotainment system on the dashboard and it's right in the line of sight. It's gonna draw your attention immediately where this is more blended in, blended in naturally and it just looks better in my opinion. All right, so we are on our way back to the dealership. I wanna test out the augmented reality. This is just unbelievable stuff. 
I gotta tell you, this car has some presence to it. I'm getting so many looks driving the new Escalade, uh, and for good reason. I, th I think there's, I think there's most certainly a lot of buzz to what Cadillac is doing. Everyone knows this vehicle. It still has street credibility. I've been getting a lot of smiles. I've been getting a lot of people just staring at this vehicle. And I think that's a good sign for Cadillac. Cadillac's moving in the right direction. The now, I mean, they've, they've always been, at least with the Escalade, they've always been a status symbol. But I think now more than ever, they know what the Escalade is up to. They know the technologies that's in this vehicle. And I, I could totally see uh, the Escalade becoming a very popular three row SUV within the next year or so. Now, once again, huge thank you to Colonial Cadillac of Woburn for giving me this opportunity to take a look at the new Escalade. The augmented reality system alone is like worth the th six hours of filming this uh, three-row SUV. Uh, it's just one of the coolest features to have. And I know some German brands are definitely moving in that direction, but right now there is nobody offering this in the digital gauge cluster. And I just like the fact that you have the graphics that pop up on the screen. It's just really cool. The, the resolution and graphics are are high, very high quality. But overall, after this test drive, if you are in the market for a $100,000 vehicle, whether it's a sedan, crossover, SUV, I think you should at least take a look at the Escalade, even if it's not on your list of considerations, because I do think that this is some great technology to work with, but also it rides pretty well. And it gives you uh, that feeling of being in a very superior vehicle to everyone else. So I certainly like that. I mean, this is definitely feeding my ego and it's hurting me that I'm about like half a mile away from the deal. I have to get the keys back. But this was definitely an enjoyable driving experience. And um, to test out the augmented reality to me is the most important because I think what Cadillac is doing here is pretty good stuff. And it just gives me a lot of hope for the future that maybe one day uh, Cadillac will once again uh, be at the top of the luxury crossover and SUV market. So at the end of the day, the lasting impression for the 2021 Cadillac Escalade has to be the interior technology because to me, this is where you're gonna be spending most of your time, obviously, as a driver and maybe even as a passenger. And you're gonna be drawn in by this 38 inch screen. It's curved, we've just never seen anything like this before from an American brand. And I just think that from the technology aspect, uh, this is top notch stuff. When you can have augmented reality in the digital gauge cluster, you can also have that navigation map similar to what we see from Audi's virtual cockpit. And just the way this entire interior is set up, it's just, it's intuitive, it's ingenious, it's unique. And usually with Cadillac and other American brands, they usually try emulating German brands. Whereas for the 2020 Cadillac Escalade, they're being their own entity. They're not trying to be like someone else. They're, they're trying to give you technology in a way we've never seen this before. And what I like the fact too is that, and this is, I think, I don't know if there's any other brand out there doing this, but you have a mini touchscreen on the far left side that controls your gauge cluster, your digital gauge cluster, and you can scroll through different settings to see, uh, to show what you see in front of you. And that is just unique. We've just never seen that before. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot more of that uh, throughout this decade. But also, too, if you are a Cadillac enthusiast and you've been waiting for them to integrate 21st century technology, this is definitely a vehicle that you should be enthusiastic about because I honestly think we're going to see an iteration of this 38 inch curved screen in the CT4, CT5, XT5, XT6, whether it's 24 inches or maybe just a little bit smaller than that. I think we're going to start seeing this technology make its way into the more affordable vehicles in the lineup. But also what I like too about this Escalade is that it's better suited for a family rather than being for the livery service or just being a limo. Because you have the screens in the second row that can control your navigation system, but also you can plug in video game systems or a DVD player and the kids in the back can be entertained on a long drive. This vehicle is just set up to be more family friendly than ever before. Also the fact too you have this button where you can enhance your audio where people in the third row can hear you uh, very clearly and um, this to me it just lets me know that this is going to be a, a vehicle for a bigger family than just two people in the second row. So to me I like what Cadillac has done. They've made this vehicle certainly luxurious. Obviously, journals are gonna get caught up with the fact that this whole center console layout is very similar to what we see in a CT5 and other vehicles in the Cadillac lineup. But to me, it just, it just doesn't 
draw that much attention in my opinion. I think people are going to be more focused on the, on the technology aspect. If this was 10 years ago, I think, yeah, you have a claim there uh, where people are more focused on the, the, the button layouts and the, the luxury aspects, but it's 2020. People are more focused on technology and that's exactly what Cadillac has given us. I just think the augmented reality system is just unbelievable. Uh, it's what you expect in a vehicle in 2020 and it's really great to see that Cadillac is moving forward and really focusing on the future. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time.